Dane, I don't know how many days a week I should be throwing if I'm a shot putter or a discus thrower. Is this a question that you have? We're gonna answer it. We're gonna start right now. Okay, so this is a question that a lot of people ask is how often should I throw? And we have to analyze a couple different factors. Are you throwing one event? Are you throwing two events? Are you throwing three events? And then we have to get into what level are you? Okay, are you a novice thrower? You're intermediate, are you a world-class thrower? And then on top of that, how good do you want to be? So all of those things factor into this major question of how often should I throw? Now, the first key factor that we have to remember when we're thinking about throwing, shot put, discus, javelin, hammer, all of these events, they are all extraordinarily technical. So there's a lot of technical work that we have to focus on. We have to go through visualization drills. We have to go through technical drills. We have to go through actually throwing. We also have to be in a weight room and lift weights. And so a lot of coaches might back off on the number of throws that they're taking because kids are sore, because they're not as focused on their technique, but that does play a major role. So that's that first key factor is that we have to recognize that throwing is a technical movement. That second key factor is going to be the fact that rotational movements are not really normal in sports. Very few sports have full rotations outside of figure skating, gymnastics. Not many sports have that actually happen. So it's a very foreign feeling. It's a very hard concept to comprehend, which is why a lot of people like Lucas Warning struggle going from a glide into a spin and then they switch back to that glide. So that's another big factor that we have to go into. Finally, that third key factor is how much time you have, how much time you're gonna invest into the sport. That plays a massive role. If you're gonna say, I'm gonna train six days a week because I wanna throw 70 feet as a dude in high school, or I'm gonna throw 50 feet as a chick in high school, then you're gonna have to throw more. And because you have those lofty goals, you have to train five to six days a week if you wanna attain those actual goals. So now we're gonna go into those specific throws-based prescriptions. And if you don't wanna wait for the rest of the video, head over to throwsuniversity.com and pick up our elite throws training program to help you get on those gains. So that first key answer, if you're a novice thrower, okay, so let's play this high school hypothetical. You're a novice thrower, you have to throw shot and disc, okay, so you're throwing two events. And your high school coach, let's say you're in Pennsylvania, you don't have the hammer throw, but you do have javelin, your high school coach is making you also throw javelin. Don't practice javelin, just throw shot and discus. Just throw shot and discus all the time. Now, what I would recommend is you have at least one day a week where you just throw shot. You have at least one day a week where you just throw discus. This is gonna help expose which event you like a lot and which event you're actually geared towards to be a better thrower. If I'm 6'10", I'm probably gonna be a better discus thrower, unless I'm Christian Cantwell's son, than I am gonna be a shot putter, okay? So we have to factor that into the whole equation. So now you have one day of shot, one day of discus, and then I would recommend at least two more days where you throw both implements back to back. Let's say you're a spinner, you throw shot, 20 reps, then you go throw discus, 20 to 25 reps. Same thing on that next day. So at least four days a week, you're gonna be throwing, and at least three days a week, you're gonna be throwing each event. Now, if I'm an intermediate thrower and I'm starting to figure out that I'm a shot putter uh, and discus is sort of that secondary event, I wanna go to college to be a, an elite level shot putter. Now, I would say kick it up to five days a week. And remember, you should be able to diagnose which days you're gonna throw really hard, which days are gonna be more technically focused. This all goes back to that discussion we had in the beginning. Throwing is a technical event, so you have to establish that technical model. We have videos on technical models, so make sure you check those videos out to help guide how you should actually be moving inside of the circle. Once you understand those key concepts, the more reps you get in, the more aha moments you're gonna have, and the more in love with throwing that you're gonna be, and the more confident you're gonna be when you get into those competitions. So throws-based prescription might be you throw shot two to three days a week by itself, and then you have discus once a week just by itself, and then one of those days you throw both together. This is gonna help guide you and see, okay, I'm definitely more of a shot putter, I'm definitely more of a discus thrower. Now, if you're at the collegiate level and you're throwing multiple implements, I would recommend following that similar type scheme, five to six days a week. Throwing an implement every single day. Understanding technique, understanding technical models, understanding how to execute those positions and what you're looking for, what you're trying to achieve inside of the circle. If you're a world-class thrower, you should be throwing at least 
four to five days a week. Now, I know there's a lot of throwers out there, some individuals, I, I believe Joe Kovacs is throwing three to four days a week, and I think he's only really throwing hard. Again, I think, I don't know for sure, I think. He's only really throwing hard one to two days a week. I could be wrong on that, uh, but there are some world-class throwers that don't throw as frequently, especially as they age, they might get a little beat up from those harder throw sessions. I believe that as you're transitioning out of the collegiate level and you're getting into the professional level, you need to throw six days a week, but you need to periodize your throwing. You need to know what time of year are you gonna be throwing heavy implements, what time of year are you gonna be throwing competitive implements, what time of year are you gonna be throwing light implements. And then on top of that, you have to periodize based off of each week. All right, what days am I gonna be throwing very hard for distance? And then what days am I throwing just for technique? That's exactly how we laid out our elite throws based prescription. We periodize everything. So you have the technical days, you have the distance days, you have the volume of throws, you have the technical drills that you're gonna be doing, and then you can execute that long term to achieve those great heights, those great goals that you have as a shot putter or a discus thrower. So head over to throwsuniversity.com, pick up that program today so you can hit those monster PRs. Until next time, guys, peace.